Hello, and my name is CJ, and I'm here to talk to you everything that is about sliders. And this is the Sliders Review. And I'm here today to talk to you about which professor actually slid in the second season episode, Post Traumatic Slide Syndrome. Now, this is a question that has been plaguing Sliders fans for many, many years, ever since the episode aired. And it was actually never revealed because John Ray's baby was actually fired in the third season. It was actually stated by Tracy Torme that you have to look at the differences between that episode and future episodes and you have to pay close attention to the clues to determine which professor is the professor. Now, being a fan of the show, even when I watched this as a kid, I always assumed that the bad professor slid only because we find out that the professor dies and halfway through the third season. Now, I just always wanted the good professor to live back on the other world like many other fans have. But in all reality of it, who really truly slid? And if you really do pay attention to that episode and the future episodes, you can kind of determine which one actually slid. However, in 2009, Tracy Torme actually revealed which one truly slid. Before I go into why I think the bad one slid, first thing you have to notice is that both the good professor and the bad professor are very, very similar. Both are very highly intelligent. Both have a love for the classical fine arts. Both have a huge attitude. Both are very jealous of Quinn. Both get along with Rembrandt and both argue with Wade time and time again. Both professors dress similar and both professors have glasses that they wear on occasion in some episodes. And they both refer to Quinn as Mr. Mallory throughout the entire series, but both also acknowledge him as just Quinn in one episode. In the episode in which this all happened in post-traumatic slide syndrome, we see an episode through the perspective of Rembrandt. And in that episode, the sliders believe that they are actually home, which in fact they are not. They are actually on Earth Prime 2, which is an Earth that is very similar to theirs, in which their group of sliders on Earth 2 slid the exact same time in which our sliders did, except for the professor of Earth 2. While in the episode, our professor has been kidnapped and impersonated by the Earth 2 professor. He goes on television and states that he is the one who created sliding. Because of this, him and the other sliders become very famous. After much debate, the sliders now discover that they are in fact not back home. So now, since the timer has been stolen, they are now in search for it. So they go to the professor's home, which they have no idea that that is not in fact their professor. After they rummage through his stuff, Wade discovers that the professor wears bifocals, which she never knew that before. After they found the professor in the basement, they rescue him and discover that he was actually kidnapped by the professor of that world. At that time, the professor of that world goes into the basement and tries to tell that the sliders that he is in fact their professor. However, both professors are wearing the exact same clothes, but the professor that is tied up in the basement looks like he's been there for the last couple of days and his hair is all mangled with his clothes. Where the professor that walks down into the basement is actually very clean cut. After they fight, once it is time for them to slide, they say goodbye to their counterpart loved ones. The bad professor shows up and wants to go with the sliders. He regrets the fact that he did not slide with his group because he was too scared and didn't know much about the subject. But after him and our professor fight, one of them is knocked out and slides. As this happens, one of the professors stands up and goes, oh no. But however, if it was the bad professor that stayed on that world and saw the good one slid, he would be more upset and probably to the point of pissed off that he didn't get to slide as opposed to being shocked and sad. That's why I believe that the bad professor actually split and the good one stayed. As we move on to another episode known as Great Fellas, which is a mafia type episode written by Tracy Torme, the professor personality in this episode is slightly different. When we see the sliders in the beginning of the episode, the professor is kind of shocked and somewhat new to this whole sliding Hello Earth type thing, that where he is astonished and upset at the fact that other people on Parallel Earth will act differently. Now, we've seen this happen with our professor in the past, but that was only in the first few episodes. Once then, he became accustomed to sliding and just knew to expect the unexpected. For the end of this episode, 
when all the sliders are taken captive and the mafia people want this one woman in exchange for their lives, this professor is actually willing to give up the location of this woman in order for him to live. Our professor is a little bit more noble and would never do this. He would never sacrifice the life of another person in order to save his own. So because of this, we now see a key element in which which true professor is sliding with the sliders. In the episode Invasion, we see the professor actually steals a piece of technology from the Chromax. He states that he took it to prove that the Chromax exists. However, the sliders never came up with the debate if, if they should tell other world about the Chromax or not because nobody would believe them. In the third season, Double Cross, when the sliders go to Logan St. Clair's world, they discover that the professor of that world is actually the one who invented sliding. Our professor is extremely ecstatic and happy at the fact that his double is the one who created sliding. This is quite odd because we know that the bad professor wishes he invented sliding and wishes that he slid with his original team, but with our good professor, he is in fact jealous that Quinn was able to create sliding and he didn't, but we never really truly see a huge disappointment in this. We see a slight disappointment without a huge one. And it's never really brought up again in the first two seasons. So he seems to be pretty okay with that fact and could probably care less that he created sliding. However, this professor is overjoyed at the fact that his double created sliding. When Logan lies to him and say that her professor tested sliding without sending a probe first, this professor is very shocked because he's all like, he would never ever slide without testing it first. Which in fact, that is what the double on post-traumatic slide syndrome didn't do. He didn't slide with his team because he feared sliding and he feared it wasn't tested enough. Our professor, the good one, he actually slides with the sliders in the pilot episode to not only explore the multiverse in the interest of science, but to protect both Quinn and Wade. However, Quinn never states to him that he tested the sliding equipment with a few objects to begin with before he actually slid. The professor does know, in fact, that Quinn has slid once, but he doesn't know if it's truly safe or not. In the episode, Rules of the Game, the professor is actually blinded by an explosion of light. Now, in post-traumatic slide syndrome, we discover that the bad professor actually has bifocals. So one would assume that since his eyesight is bad, it was more acceptable to the explosion and caused him to be blind temporarily. However, I do believe in the first season, I do believe I saw the professor once have a pair of reading glasses on. But those was just like reading glasses. But anyway, if you have reading glasses, that means your eyesight is bad anyway. So, it's kind of hard to determine which professor are we really talking about in the rules of the game. However, in that episode of Rules of the Game, when he is blind, he wants to stay on that world and not interfere with the slider's lives. He tells them what is the point of sliding if you cannot see the worlds on which you are on. Which the, our professor, the good one, never really been too concerned about the other parallel worlds. He just wanted to get home. He could care less about what the other worlds look like. Which we know that the bad professor really, really enjoys sliding and he really wants to learn all he can about it. So it's because of these reasons I feel that the bad professor actually slid and the good one stayed back on the other world. Now, like I said before, in 2009, Tracy Torme has confessed that it was actually the bad professor that did slide and that the good one did stay on Earth. So I was actually right to begin with, so that's kind of cool. Well, folks, this is the rundown on which professor slid, and I believe this is actually my very last video I'm making, because I pretty much covered every topic there is to cover. Well, it's been fun sharing you my love of sliders. I'll talk to you later. Bye.